Hi everybody, this is John Murray. Charles Koss did a follow-up video on the melted staircases at the Dendera Temple in Egypt. He did apparently dismiss the idea that solar plasma caused this melting damage, but I don't see any other logical explanation. Let's take a look at another possibility, which as far as I'm aware, neither he nor anybody else has considered to explain this anomaly. Dr. Robert Schock has a PhD in geology and geophysics at Yale University. He wrote a book titled Forgotten Civilization, The Role of Solar Outbursts in Our Past and Future. I'll leave a link below. I highly recommend you read this book to read the abundance of facts backing up his theory and clearly refuting the theory that a comet wiped out mankind. Science is science and facts are facts. I'll also leave a link to this page with a synopsis of his research, research on solar plasma flares so you can read the facts for yourself. In my video titled, Shields Up! Earth Pyramids Dynamically Deflect Solar Plasma 21,500 BC, I address Charles Koss's first video on this subject. I point out, through scientific research, that when sandstone is heated up to, up to 1,000 degrees, it expands. This would then logically explain the seeming extra material in the, st in material in the stairs. I'll leave a link to this video as well. Now in his second video on this subject, Charles shows a second melted staircase, which he refers to as the lower staircase, the first video showing the upper staircase. If you watch my video titled, Did the Ancients Leave Us Proof of a Coming Cataclysmic Solar Plasma Strike? You will know I propose the theory and I have for some time now, that the ancients left us proof in the form of the Temple of Isis and the Holy of Holies stone inside of the Temple of Isis of cyclic solar plasma strike occurring 10,500 BC or thereabouts, and a minor one occurring at about circa 5,000 BC, both of which reset civilization. I then suggest for your consideration the following theory. Some rudimentary part of the Temple of Dendera existed circa 10,500 BC before the solar plasma strike. Perhaps they were just stairways to someone's villa. Nothing really important at the time. The stairs at that time were open to the air. Perhaps they rose up to someone's garden top. And thus, after that, the solar plasma strike occurred. And so the stairs were melted, just as the Temple of Isis was scorched by heat on the outside just as the Holy of Holies inside of the Temple of Isis was scorched by heat, just as many places in Egypt and around the world have been scorched by intense heat, documented oftentimes by Dr. Robert Chalk and by, and by Brian Forrester in his fine videos. To continue with my theory, the surviving ancients wanting to preserve physical proof of the cyclic solar plasma strikes as a warning to the future us, then sought to preserve the melted stairs just as they preserved the Holy of Holies in the Temple of Isis. Thus they built the major part of the Temple of Dendera around the melted stairs, around the melted stairs, to protect them from the elements of thousands of years of time and wear that they knew they would have to last as proof, as evidence for us to look at. This then explains why the outer part of the temple is not damaged by solar plasma, because it did not exist when that major event occurred. I can see no other probable explanation for this staircase anomaly, Hockham's razor considered. It does not require a great leap of logic to think this theory possible. Just ask yourselves, if you wanted to warn the future of cyclic solar plasma strikes and knowing that anything written will likely not survive the eons of time, what would be a better way than to leave physical proof for future us to see and wonder about in the form of an edifice, a temple, so that we would then see it and wonder about it and ask ourselves, how did that happen? Just as I'm talking about it in this video and just as Charles Koss talks about it in his interesting videos. Now one might ask, if this theory were true, would not the builders of the Dendera temple have carved something into the temple to memorialize the solar plasma burst? Well, that also seems like a quite logical question and they possibly did just that. Here we see a depiction of a possible solar plasma strike at the temple at Dendera. Strangely, relative to the sun, the images alongside it are all upside down. 
Probably people ascribe this to the fact that it is on the ceiling and they just move on. But I don't think that's it. I think there's more to it. I think this may possibly indicate that to survive the cyclic solar plasma strikes, the people had to go underground. And that's why you see so many underground cities. And they decided to pick that in the ceiling, to depict that in the ceiling by carving the boats and figures upside down relative to the sun in the sky. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and forward this video to all your friends.